In this video, I'll show you how to download Fortnite on your Mac. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And now let's go and jump straight into this guide. Here we are on my Mac and let's get right into this guide. The first thing you need to do is go and open up a web browser. So because I'm using a Mac, I tend to use Safari, but you could use any browser you would like. And here we are. Then all you want to do is go and search for something called Epic Games. And if you didn't know, Fortnite is actually hosted on something called Epic Games. They're sort of like the developers of it. So we need to go and get the Epic Games launcher. And then once we've got the Epic Games launcher, we can then get Fortnite on that. Don't worry, I'll explain everything. But essentially just go and search for Epic Games like so. And here it is. And then make sure you go to epicgames.com just like so. And here we are on the website. And as you can see, here is Fortnite. But now what I recommend doing is quickly going and creating a Fortnite or Epic Games account because that is required in order to go and download and play Fortnite. So all you want to do is go to the top right where it says sign in like so. Don't worry because on the sign in page, we can actually go and create an account. As you can see at the bottom, we can go and press sign up. So if you don't already have an account, go and sign up. Um, I've already got one, so I'm just gonna sign in. Then once you've signed in or created your account, you should be taken back to the Epic Games homepage. If not, just go back to epicgames.com and hit enter. Then what you want to do is go to the top right where it says get Epic Games up here and go and tap on it like so. Then you may go and get a pop-up saying, do you want to allow downloads? I'm going to click allow because I want the, um, the installer to download. Now, if you're using Safari, then what we can do is go to the top right and go and press on the download button like so. And as you can see, the Epic installer is now downloading. If you're using a different browser, it may appear somewhere else, but you can always go and view your downloads in your finder in the downloads folder or in your downloads in the bottom right as well. So once you've got the installer, then let's go and double tap on it like so and go and start running this. So as you can see, we need to go and drag the Epic Games launcher into the applications. So literally click on it and then drag it into applications like so, and then it's gonna be added just like that. And then once you've done that, what we now need to do is go and open up uh, Launchpad. But firstly, I'm just gonna close off Safari like so. So now what we're going to do is clone close off of this as well. And what we need to do is go and open up Launchpad and go and look for Epic Games. So in this case, it's in this games folder for me. So I'm now gonna go and press on Epic Games Launcher. And now it's going to go and start launching. I'll then press open like this. And there's a few different pop-ups you will need to go and allow. And then Epic Games is going to go and start updating because we really only just downloaded the installer file. Now it's actually installing. So sit back and relax. And then once the Epic Games update is finished, you'll be taken to the sign-in page. So now you can go and sign into the account you just created. So I'm just going to sign with Epic Games. And after you've signed in, it will then start loading and you'll get this pop-up here saying choose your install location. So this is where um, games are going to be installed. So Fortnite where it will be installed. So make sure you're happy with that. You can go and change it by pressing browse and options. For me, that's fine. I'm going to disable auto update and then go and press install. Then it just wait a moment and it should go and start loading. Now, as you can see, you've just got this other pop up here. Uh, what you can do is go and close this off. It's not actually to Epic Games, it's about sort of connecting your account to other platforms. And then what you'll need to do is go and click on store and then go and tap on search. And then you can go and search Fortnite just like so and hit enter and as you can see here it is it just appeared then go and tap on it like so and then what you'll need to do is scroll down and you need to go and tap on this button here for me it says in library because i've already gone and added it to my library before so in your, your case it'll be like download or get or something like that just tap on it and then it's going to be added to your library and it should start downloading and then if you go to your library on the left hand side this is going to show you all of the games you have on epic games you may only have one or two but i've actually used um, epic games before so i've got a few others but as you can see fortnite is now installing and if you then go to the bottom left where it says downloads it's going to go and tell us the download progress of um, Fortnite as you can see it's um, done 600 meg megabytes or 44 gigabytes so this will take some time depending on your internet connection so all you need to do is wait for it and then once it's finished downloading you can then go back to your library just like so I'll go and close off of this page here by just tapping off of it and then once you're in your library you can actually go and launch Fortnite once it's finished downloading so you can literally just go and tap on it and then it should go and start launching and you can go and play Fortnite on your Mac if you guys found this useful please go down below and consider leaving a like peace